Today for a new episode of Diary of a Puzzle Gamer I want to tell you a little bit about this uh, jigsaw puzzle here, Justice League in the Thomas Kincaid series uh, published by Siako I think that's how you pronounce it so this is the box, it's a small box, a little too small for me because I like to keep my game pieces, my puzzle piece in the box as I go through them. So actually as soon as I open this one I dump them, I dump the pieces in a larger box. So the box is not too big. It does come with a nice poster that actually doesn't just help you solve the puzzle but it's a nice poster and so you have this one too. As you can see this is a puzzle about the amazing women of DC Comics. It really was DC Comics back in the day in the 1940s with Wonder Woman that came up with the idea of the strong female superhero and since then they have had a tradition of really interesting female characters and so to me this is a, a way not just of having a really nice image, because this painting is nice, but also of honoring that tradition. As for the puzzle itself, the puzzle is a thousand pieces, and you see it here in all of its glory. Also, uh, if you wonder what's happening here, is it just with the power of my kinetic mind that I can do this? No, I just modge podge the, the whole thing. So it has become one nice single item and then I can put it somewhere here around my game room. It's a really nice puzzle. It was harder to uh, solve than I thought at the beginning. Because, as you can probably see, it's not just a... Uh, a normal image with uh, say industrial traditional coloring but it's a painting and in many areas you can really see the paint brushes it's almost like an impressionist painter had painted a painting with this very interesting subject so actually it started easy enough that wasn't any big problem I created I sold the frame I uh, sold uh, um, Supergirl and the sky I, I recently discovered that many people don't like to do skies in puzzles to me that's one of the best parts and that was easy after that it became very very hard because all of a sudden when looked well, the flags were also easy, but after that, uh, uh, each single piece had just these like blotches of colors that looked totally absurd, again, just because of the, of the impressionistic style here. And it was incredibly, uh, oh, incre ah, that's too much, but it was considerably harder than I expected. Batgirl, for some reason, was very hard to solve, but just the intersection of lines and shapes here as she's fighting with Catwoman was the last, the last thing that I was able to solve when not many pieces were left. One thing that actually really helped is that, again, this is either a painting on canvas that has been reproduced here or something that has been made to look like a painting on canvas. And I'm getting as close as I can and I'm losing, uh, I'm losing clarity of image here. What I'm trying to show you is that actually you can see the canvas. You can see the canvas. You can see that the entire surface is covered with horizontal lines. I don't know if I can show you those. Look in that area there. You see those little horizontal lines. When you're looking at the puzzle in real life, it's much easier to spot. Let's see if other areas make it. Oh, there you go. I think you can see the, the horizontal lines of the canvas. Again, it's not a canvas, but it's a reproduction of a painting that looks it was made on canvas and seeing those lines in the background well that is big help some of these you still don't know which side is up which side is down again because it will be pretty abstract but then at least you are eliminated to possible orientation and for some pieces that look completely abstract that is not inconsiderable so it was a fun puzzle to make. Uh, it started really easy. It turned out to be a lot more challenging, which of course when you're solving a puzzle is not unwelcome. Uh, the level of challenge depends on your mileage, but I enjoyed the challenge in general, I do. And I stuck to it, especially because I really liked the images I saw from the box and from the poster. And I wanted to have this image in my collection. I'm very, very pleased with the result. I think this is one of the best looking puzzles that I ever solved. Or at least I solved in the last, say, couple of years. 
it looks really nice now it's all much podge so I'll simply put it on top of a stack of games here and leaning back against the wall and so I don't even have to spend money to frame it or anything it'll just be like a great addition to my game room I believe I'm very very happy so the Thomas Kincaid collection women of DC I believe this is the official name although the box doesn't tell you, which is kind of like a little bit annoying. Justice League, Women of DC, Google it, you should be able to find it. Uh, there's still many copies out there online, it's not particularly rare. And I'm really, really happy that I solved it. It was fun to solve. And honestly, I think it's a real beauty now that it is solved.